I'm usually so excited talking about St. Therese's Parish and School. As I said, the church was opened on the 9th of um, April, 1948. And then in, on the 9th of April, 1972, the current church building was also opened. So 9th of April is very unique to St. Therese. Yes, it's been 75 years. I was not there for all the entire 75 years, but probably 73 or 74 of the 75 I was around. And I uh, was baptized in that church. And that's the old church, which is today the Father of Farrell right. Memorial Hall. And I met a lot of the people who were the pioneering members. Uh, it was a very small church at the time, mostly people who had emigrated from Banjul into Serekunda and those places. But as I said, it was a small church and um, Father Farrell was in charge. It's only one mass every week and that was at nine o'clock on Sundays. Father Farrell, apart from running the church, was also setting up the school because the school was also opened on the 4th of November 1948. And, um, school is 75 years old, 1st of November. So I thought probably the headmaster or headmistress and teachers in the school and the church should something to, to celebrate the occasion. From humble beginnings, the only building left in the school at that time is the one still standing on the left when you enter the school. That was the original building. I started school there in January 1955. That's about less than seven years after the school was opened. So I met some of the original pupils there. But um, as I said, from between 1948 and now, there are still that building standing. So that building is 75 years old. But I saw it in a very dilapidated state. I was not happy about it. I think something she needs to be done. But yeah, Father Farrell was around for some time. And when I was starting school in 55, it was Father Corrigan who was in charge of the church and the school. Now, the important thing about those days was that the priest in charge was also the head of the school. And I still remember Father Farrell going around with his carpenter's toolbox, fixing the fence and doors and windows of the school buildings. At the time, the headmaster was um, Mr. Ogu, Pa Ogu. He was the first headmaster I can remember, but mm. then later, Mother Magdal. We used to call them Mother, Mother Madeline. So when the church was opened, there was no, no. I learned the, the convent came into being in 1956. It's about eight years after the church. Then, and it was because of the school they were brought in there. Mm. Most important woman at the time, not only in the church, the school, but the community was Mother Madeline. Uh, she was West Indian and she was black. Oh, she was very popular at the time. And mm. the communities loved, loved her. So from uh, those early years after Father Corrigan, Father Farrell came back and I think for the rest of, her, of his life mm. uh, in the parish, he spent it in Carnifin until he retired and wanted to live here, DPL. And then it was Father Farrell also who expanded the cemetery because these were all small plots of land at the time. So eventually they were joined the both the Protestant and the Catholic centers together. Because as you know, it was not it was not easy for the church those days. Because in all those years, there were only three schools in the Greater Bible, in Bacau, Carnifin, and so nothing else. I think schools started sprouting up um, in the 60s or 70s. Again. Prominent among those is the building of the present church, which became the biggest church in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. In 1970, we were young men in the parish at the time, and uh, some of us had to go around from compound to compound mm -hmm. asking for one shilling or two shillings contribution. By then, it was not Dallas even. And prominent people then, because there was no parish council at the time, in 1981, way of what you had people like Pa Vitar Jami, Pa Anton Mendy. Now, I think these people even received only two people yeah. in Kalifin that I, that I know. There are maybe others after, after I, mm -hmm. but these were the two. Saint Therese, the Moko Gisete, family Bentinki. Bentinki, Saint Therese, if you some, my Gugurere, go have the Dafasani, Irene, Funeka, be pare Banghasami. Sani Mulao, Funeka, Ir, Sumodore te di Tuda, Lanmo is Saint Teres. So Dore from the Suf Sam Tahu, Jangobi, Jango Bobule Nunsun Jamano, Jango Bobule, So Jelly did them old Joshua, got them new Joshua, got new Kanifi, got new Fijipi Tahu te. Fi yep, ni yep den don yum, chi kepar kinga hamne mo on sen teres, chi fim sampu, mo di jango bi, school bi. School bi, amna fa, da fata hau, am ay janga kat yu mak, go re jigen, nyo hamne, ham ham len fe son, muno no janga le, te dun yen fate mu, chi kou lolo, eni den fe janga len fa ay halal. Ni doctor, ni lawyer, ni a baker, ni the parachibir school, Bobo Jangal Nenfa, a halal. No hamnete, 
ak sour nek nañ labé mën nañ ñoo cédé tay fada peter steven lopez directo ci school bobu la fayé ko ma jigen ñu mag ñu am daraja ñu am ham ham ci jangal this way to now father farel started working on the church together with um, father white you know he used to sit uh, stand there and enjoy these people I don't know whether they studied architecture or engineering, but they did a fantastic job. And what puzzled people most was the roof, because the span of the church was so yes. wide. To put up a roof to cover that, mm. at that time, was no, I, I think even today it will be difficult. So that, that, I think that's his biggest, biggest contribution to the parish of St. Therese, the new church. And it was opened on the 9th of April, as I said, 1972. His other contributions are the school, St. Therese's primary school. As I said, he used to walk around carrying his toolbox, repairing things, um, building the school, supporting it. Was was another big contribution. Uh, he was a builder in a lot of sense. In fact, if you look at the mission compound at the time, there are small buildings everywhere. There was the Saint Vincent de Paul King. That was where we had the Legion of Mary meetings. He built all those small things inside, and then um, used part of the garden, the orchard of the of the mission house, to to build this new church. That part was the orchard of the time, and then he expanded the cemetery from what mm -hmm. it used to be to what it is today. Uh, boy, it's, it's no, it's, it's difficult mm -hmm. to, to enumerate all the all the contributions of. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Father Sharp came, I think, around Independence time. You know, I remember that I was still in high school, and we became very good friends. Actually, he took me to Kungujan in his Soviets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and used to take me there on Friday night, conduct catechism. We come on Saturday morning, half mass, and then pick me up, we come back home. Well, this was in uh, around 1966-67. What's interesting about Father Sharp is uh, when you talk about some person adapting, boy, he was the greatest adapter I ever saw. <laughs> he will leave the mission compound in Kanifun in the morning and would never return until late in the evening. He mm -hmm. knew every Catholic compound in this Kupakundas, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And he did it on foot. Started learning Wolof. I remember coming back on Saturday, he would draft a little thing as someone for Sunday and ask me to translate it for, for him. You know, but um, I think he he's a fantastic guy. And he contributed immensely because he is the person who took the church from Carnifing and the mission house and the church to the community by visiting everything. He knew nearly everything. How he did it those days, I don't know. He used to go with us those days for some time, but afterwards he went alone. You know, and I always say, I, I, for St. Therese, I think three people contributed immensely to the group. Father Sharp was one, mm -hmm. the first. Father Casey is the second. And uh, the presentation sisters with Sister Cecilia, 68, yeah. Yes. And, you know, mo no, this, this, these were people who really, and I think they should be honored on the 75th anniversary of the church. They did well mm -hmm. in the 60s and 70s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was not much, as I said, uh, there was only one priest. Father Farrell, and the first time we had two priests here was when Father Sharp came yes, and, joined and, him. and joined him. But apart from that, and as I said, Father Sharp is the only person who went out mm -hmm. to the community and met with the lady. Father, Father Farrell was a great guy, but mm -hmm. come and see him outside. That is it, you know. Yes. You don't see him and again. And he stayed most of the time here in GPI, he had I his know. house here. Yeah, yeah. No, but even no, when he had his house, even there. He was still coming here. Yeah, he used to visit. Uh, this place yes. was, was all bush. Bush, yeah. You know? But um, as I said, seeing him was not easy. Mm -hmm. We, even as altar boys, uh, he was the most feared man at the time. <laughs> Very I heard he was tall. And yeah, big. people call him Father Ponkal, oh. you know. So he was, and oh, mm -hmm. hardly sort of. Now, the, the, the lady was not very much involved. As I said, everything mm -hmm. was Father Ne. Father ne you know, the team was. So the priest who, basic, as you said, the priest and the headmaster of the school. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And um, they had a few senior, as I told you, Paul Vitar and mm -hmm. Paul Anton and the, the elders of the, parish. of the parish, yes. But then, in terms of decision making, no. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the lay organizations, I think the first one ever was the Legion of Mary, mm -hmm. started by Sister Madeleine to uh, Mother Madeleine at the time. And we had three preceding, mm -hmm. a junior, intermediate, and senior. Mm -hmm. no. Um, Apart from the Legion of Mary, then the young people started CPA. Mm -hmm. CPA was started in Banjul. St. Vincent de Paul also came. St. Vincent de Paul came even later than CPA. Wow. Um, so these are the, 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 the three 
in the original setup of the church that, mm. uh, as I said, they didn't have much to say in the Indian. The choir, when the church was started, we had a very good choir. And it was stationed, look, I'm saying it, and your dad even joined the choir when, yes, my father also. <laughs> when, when, when he came over, but you had people like the church of Shiri, who was choir master at the time. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, after church of Shiri came people like, uh, Tuta, Mr. Foster. I had a word of name. Yeah, and good choir, and sang a lot of good Latin at the time, because these were all people who came from, and mm -hmm. joined us. So that was the choir they had, and then, there was also later on a Jola choir. Mm. You know, uh, there was this guy called Jim who started the whole thing, and people like Mexa Sunny and those people. Go to get to school, be. Got them to fi fi tei tei tei. Office be so bitter how, fufula. Go am the education secretary at fufula. Go am Bamel be. That's what Saint Teresa's. Chicha mano yo yo Saint Teresa's. Lau bim lau. Di gohim am milieu tei Saint Teresa's um ki jamano bobu man bima neke alel neke ki primary school bi fate le kuna fada farel yuko e fada ponkal mom file joge GPI joge fi ki la dem kanifim disinga fi education secretary ad bineka tei fufu la negi la bebi neko Negi railing one, we are young Yunko Sampo on Banco Bugo. Nunday don't know the Aji Mango, Gagis Mujok, Coco Candla, Nudau Gena, Fufula one. Ganaganak, Man Madame Banjulia of Fufumak, Bebimadore, Diligate Jul Brew, Chilano Daje, Labe, Nemciala, Father Brendan Smith, Um Jaman Omla Tombe, Musos, Paris Council. Ci mobu yala worse gal malot mobu ka ci council bi di fa ligey ak ñu bari bu ko matu da tour di ko pej na mu na mo faté kéna mu té du refet jéka torop waye ki ñu jité won jamano bobu won mon Mr. Lead Moses Segor nek fi bori LK school mo mo jité won mo utu pa Lawrence Bruce pa Bruce Papi Lawrence Bruce tay ngay dey ak Sam Bruce wa ci jamano yi nak amon nga fa sori te ci bir kanifin buñ faté mbir né amon ay kër sor yu rey sister so clouni ngi won kanifin tay jamano wo bu sister Madeline mo fi nekkon West India bi den nga am am le mu jégi ñu mu jé bil bi am am Maris sister school order Presentation sister sita mnyungi fuon ba fa London kona di yep mnyungi fuon ki ki irukai irukai centeres o centeres Paris kirsuri kirlabe aki yep wa ki kupan sul binak bin bin koso se lin challenge bin jeka am modi roof bi ti bena nawet lawon mudem da fa tege ko mudem ñu bobu mo won suñ force ligue bo xamne songa nañ ko yaala def ak mag ñi ñe kon amon nañ fi ay kilifa yu ba ci tioj bi bokuñ council way kilifa yi di yar sen domi tay kuñ ci muna gis tay ma waati ko mo di fada pita steven lopez papa ak ñeneen ak ñeneen ak ñeneen duñ doon baye jangu bi ñoñu ay kilifa lañ won waaw toujours ñu ngi fa ñu ni mon di ñu tuti tuti won xamene ñen be tay duñ leen faté da na ne yalla xalal arjana fañ jëm ci la ci bir council bi ap ganaaw bu ruuf bobu deme ben liggey ko liggey nañ tam bel fruit bi bel fruit bi modi jollo li bi musna daanu ñu liggeyat ko ganaaw lolo ci bir council ñu nga mon sister cecilia ki nek sister of presentation wow ñom mo ku degeron mo mo doon jité katatisi nga gis ñu sampa mbar mbar katatisi saint teresa mo doon joy mo taxaw lu lu am gene halis paris bi gene halis lu lu am 
Bena ou Joshua. Bena Deget. Bena fi Ibotao. Bena Fadi Kunda. Bena Bakote. So qui se yo yep, s'intéresse à l'injoge, bete yu muna sampa. Si s'intéresse à l'injoge, Fada Smith, Jok, tem Fadi Kunda, sampa Fadiango. Sampa te fisori deka, mari sisters. Father Smith, yep, nous y jouons euh, Saint Thérèse de Paris. Blessed Sacrament, mon nom est Saint Thérèse de Paris. Euh, euh, Saint Thérèse de Paris, voilà le jeu. Ni yep ni odon jog dimas kololi, dimas school, yep file ni odjublo. Jare ni chiwoyoi, jare ni pipeline road, jare serekunda, yep dajek kanif. Why love you muna hala techi yuma digo yuma to the yip Filen joge Saint Teresa mo chitao Saint Teresa dey la dunda bo hamne katholik nga Chi Gambia Nyi jange fi joge dem Ago yuma to the yip nyonyu tam jangale neng dem Yumota Saint Teresa fune kala am loho chi Gambia Kana hu nyu humbal sa Pul tita runa Saint Teresa Nek bobu labe yi dekate Chi jamano fada smith la inko sampa on a un fada gabisi a nyep boko nengi nyu nyep ki ni joge centeris le di di indi heri di jor di la one centeris lum don na ko hale yek fi la be dekate ki jamano fada smith dimbale ko on ak sering la on tam usman jani mo dro amiri jagje kari meri lis mo dro plan bi pul nyu sampo fufu bom pare fada smith ku munon la ku am jaf jaf laf Am tuba bi nyom esen lo nyom gai moral fresh bartes sunye ni suba bala nyom nyom re danga gis nyom ep penturi ek simenti ek yep disambarek harun ken paris bi dafo jogod nyepa jok lu nyom wah rek ag mag nyom bahi nyamon lu nyom wah re nyepa chiboka di 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 ligei wa na hale hamne jango bi sun jango la wa nyako sampon hala tu nyom ne Nen ko sampa bom tolu fi be ñun ñu ci jëri ñu ñun tak dañ wara laccé suñu bopa lan la ñoo def pour ñun tam suñu démé yalla na yir lan la lan la ñoo mëna xalé wax né ñi ñoko fi defone té gisuma lu bari ñun luñu woné gu li yépp mag ñé ko fi def la bé yék soor yék yépp waaw kaani fi na dañ am titaru di nga gis né so démé ci présentation sisters soor bo xamné Gambia le judo, qui n'y a qu'il 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 n'y Nen yek ne deng am darah neng ko titaro, pas kibi muna ne kasi kon katedral, so tu kenga gis ye neng dekai choj boro mare danga tahau, set ni mel, ngai gis tai turisi de nyu nyu di ko set, sen tirizas, jom ba ne lem fun tolu ni neng ko yoka, neng yoka fasad, yoka rufbi, jere jen jefwai.